Forklift safety is every operator's most important job. Lack of or improper maintenance increases the risk of forklift accidents and an OSHA fine. A thorough pre-shift inspection can identify maintenance issues before they lead to an accident. Safety begins with knowing as much as possible about each forklift model, so it's extremely important to read and fully understand the operator's manual before operating the forklift. This video is not intended to replace any written material. Always refer to the appropriate operator's manual for the forklift you are using, or use the forklift's appropriate service manual. This inspection must take place at the start of each work shift to ensure that the forklift will function properly. Operators should also refer to any checklists provided for maintenance specific to each forklift model. A pre-shift inspection begins with a visual walk around of the forklift, making a number of visual checks. Look for obvious damage to the forklift, such as loose, bent, twisted, or missing sheet metal or components. This includes the LP gas tank and bracket, if applicable. While observing the forklift, also look for obvious oil leaks or leaks of any kind. Check all tires for secure mounting, damage, and excessive wear. Remove any debris from around the wheels. Do you see any damage, cracks, or signs of oil leaks on the mast assembly? Are there any signs of leaks or damage to the chains or hoses? If yes, a qualified and trained technician should be contacted to use the chain wear gauge to measure the chain elongation, otherwise known as stretch. If a chain is worn beyond specification, it should be replaced immediately. If the chains cannot be replaced at this time, the forklift must be removed from service until the chains are replaced. Do the lift and tilt systems show any signs of leaks or damage? Is the load backrest securely attached to the fork carriage with no sign of damage? Are there any cracks or signs of excessive wear? Are the forks legibly marked with their capacity? Also, are they straight and evenly spaced? If not, a qualified and trained technician should be contacted to inspect the forks, and if need be, use a fork caliper to check the thickness of the forks. If the forks are worn more than 10% at their heel, they must be replaced before the forklift can be placed back into service. Are the fork pins and locking devices secure to prevent the forks from sliding? Are controls and warning decals clearly visible and legible both in the operator's compartment and on the upright assembly? Also, is the operator's manual readily available and is it readable? If the forklift warning decals are missing or illegible, or operator's manual is damaged or unreadable, replacement decals and manuals must be ordered through your local Clark dealer. Is the overhead guard securely mounted to the forklift without any bent, twisted, or missing parts? Is the data plate securely attached to the forklift, and is it readable? Does the forklift data plate reflect the proper attachments, if any, that are used with the forklift, along with the forklift's capacity and empty weight? Check the engine coolant level and make sure the battery and cables are clean and securely mounted. Engine oil level should be checked and filled if necessary. Check with your supervisor or a qualified and trained technician before adding any fluids to the forklift. Always fill fluid levels in accordance with the operator's manual. Hydraulic oil level must be inspected with the forks fully lowered. Again, check with your supervisor or a qualified and trained technician before adding any fluids to the forklift. Always fill fluid levels in accordance with the operator's manual. Inspect the hoses, wiring, and connections. Check the air filter housing and air filter indicator to ensure they are in good condition. 
If the forklift is equipped with a brake fluid reservoir that is accessible from the operator's compartment, check the brake fluid reservoir level. Once again, check with your supervisor or a qualified and trained technician before adding any fluids to the forklift. Always fill fluid levels in accordance with the operator's manual. Enter the operator's compartment from the left side using three points of contact without holding on to the steering wheel for balance. Adjust your seat for comfort and correctly fasten your seat belt. Is the driver's seat and seat belt securely fitted and in good condition? If applicable, are the mirrors and windscreens properly adjusted and clean? Before you start the forklift and drive, turn the key switch to the on position and do a complete check of the dash display to ensure that all of the warning lights and indicators are working. Make sure that safety lights are operating properly, including the strobe and blue LED approach warning light, if applicable. Also check to be sure the horn is operating by depressing the horn button on the steering wheel and also from the auxiliary grab handle, if applicable. Make sure the backup alarm or travel alarm, if applicable, are in good working order and operate properly. Drive forward and in reverse to make sure the brakes are functioning properly. Also drive forward and in reverse a second time to make sure the inching brake pedal system is functioning properly. Check the steering from lock to lock to ensure that there are no loose steering components. Also be aware of any odd noises or unusual vibrations while operating the steering system. Finally, check all the hydraulic functions. Operate the lift function to full lift height and then lower the forks back to the floor. While cycling the upright, inspect the chains, hoses, and rollers in the upright to ensure there are no damaged or missing parts and that all of the components are operating properly. Operate the tilt function to the full forward and full rearward stops several times to ensure proper functioning while looking for leaks and smooth operation. Move the side shift function to the full left and full right extent several times to ensure proper functioning while again looking for leaks and smooth operation. Before you drive off, make sure the immediate area is clear of people and material. After pulling the forklift away, be sure to check the area where it was parked for any oil leaks, fluid leaks, or stains. A thorough pre-shift inspection at the start of each work shift is a proven way to identify maintenance issues that can lead to forklift accidents. If you find any problems or deficiencies during the pre-shift inspection, shut off the forklift and LP gas tank if applicable, take the forklift out of service, and notify your supervisor, maintenance, or your local Clark dealer about the issues. At Clark, safety is not an afterthought. It is a priority and as such is engineered into our products. Clark, an American brand driven around the world.